So it's been almost a decade since I pulled the trigger on my first PCP air gun. And I'm sure if you guys think about it, y'all you you remember when that happened, you're like, holy crap, this is an air gun and what it can do. And you go down the rabbit hole and, and the first step when you go down the rabbit hole, you get your gun and then you quickly need to figure out your air source. Well, that's easier than ever with personal compressors and tanks. And then the second thing is you very quickly figure out if, if you got an air gun, you wanna be serious about it, you need a chronograph. Simply, you need to know the speed, especially when you're tuning with the FX rifles to get the most out of your gun. So it was almost three years ago that FX released the Pocket Chronograph. Revolutionized chronographs. This is a pocket radar chronograph. That means you can, you can put this on your rifle. You can do it in day, night, cloudy conditions because it's radar. You can get the speed. And this communicates with your phone via the app. This just revolutionized things. Everybody loves it. Most of you guys don't even have to remember the old chronographs we had to use. Those big, they're usually long with some bars and some light things that you shot every few months. They're just horrible. But now, chronograph. And really there was only two slight complaints that we heard on the forums and feedback. One is it took batteries and every once in a while you'd have to replace the batteries and, and then who has that small little screwdriver? I got it, so that was a pain. And then really the only other complaint I heard, we call it the pocket chronograph, but you know, if I'm wearing my tight jeans that I do from time to time, that's a tight fit. I mean, technically pocket chronograph. So FX, we listen to your feedback and here it is. The pocket chronograph version two, smaller, better, rechargeable. That's what we're talking about today. So great news, the version two is out. It's in stores immediately, so you don't have to wait. In fact, basically sold out of this old one. We've held on to a couple for warranty purposes, so you don't even have to worry about this. We love it, but we're putting it out to pasture. So the V2, the version two pocket chronograph, all the same functionality of the other chronograph, just way smaller and sexier. And as I mentioned in the opening, rechargeable internal battery. So you're gonna recharge this with a USB-C cord. Everybody has it, especially if you're an Android guy. Oh, Androids are better than iPhones. What? So you're gonna take that USB-C and over on this side, you have a little rubber stopper so no moisture gets in there if you're using your radar in the rain, which technically, I think we can do that in the rain now. I don't know if anyone's tried, but you're gonna put that in, you're gonna recharge it. When you plug it in, there's two lights. Uh, this is the power button. You click it on and, oh, we got a green light, so that means it's on. It does automatically shut off after a period of time. And then when I plug it in, if I have actually plugged in this wall outlet, this bottom light would flash, it would rotate, meaning it's flashing, then when it gets to like a full charge, it, it goes steady. So pretty straightforward. That's what the two lights are there. Your power button to turn it off, just hold it in, power's off. Pretty simple. Now, as far as mounting options, so it comes with a couple options here. First of all, you'll see that is a Picatinny bracket. So as you can see on the impact here, I can just put that on the side or here I got a dynamic. I can put that underneath the rail. That's an awesome position for it. And what's great about both of those positions is I'm not attaching that to the barrel at all. So I don't have to worry about POI shifts, though this is so light, I don't think there would be much anyways, but that's, that's more of a static spot for that. Um, also included in the box is this optional mounting bracket. So I can swap this out, put on a mounting bracket. And now with that mounting bracket, I, I can do it to the bottle, seen some guys do it to the scope. That's a Hein Froman tip. Um, I could put it on the barrel as well, but you got a lot of options. So from a mounting standpoint, all those, it's, it's right in line with the barrel. That's what you want. You want it just straightforward, right? Because, uh, you know, we learned with old chronographs and in the original one, if you put it on the ground and you're canted a little bit, that's gonna affect it. So the idea is you want it mounted so it's right in line with the barrel pointing in the same direction. And that also helps because with this radar chronograph, it's essentially picks up you know, it shoots a little bit of arc to that pellet or slug that picks it up. It takes those readings in. You got your feet per second. And then as I mentioned at the top, you just download the radar app um, in, in iOS or Android in the, in the store. You turn it on here. Here we go. Connect, yes. And we're connected. So it's gonna get all my shots. I'm gonna be able to do shot strings. It's gonna show me my standard deviations, extreme spread all that great info. I can store different profiles. This is really for, a lot of you guys are familiar with the, the chronograph in general, but if you guys are new to air gunning, 
all sorts of data and info in here that that's gonna communicate to. It'll even speak out the feet per second. It'll say 953 feet per second. Not with that voice, that's a, that's an added, you have to pay extra for that. The bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. 1,014. The other option outside of connecting to the phone is you can also buy this uh, digital chronograph display. This was re released last year. This is a display that if I turn on, all it's gonna do is gonna connect with that and it's gonna show me my feet per second and a little bit of other info, including the battery power left in it. Um, you, you can set like your shots, like if you're an impact, you can set, oh, I got a 28 round magazine, it'll show the shot. So that's just a nice little tool that uh, is a, it's optional. You don't need that to make it work, but it's pretty sexy and that, that can mount on the side there. That also has a Picatinny rail. So some guys mount it on Picatinny in different situations. So. At FX, we're all about giving you tons of options. I mean, really outside of that, what is there to say? It's, it's a badass little chronograph that just works and will interface with your phone or your display. This is a tool that every air gunner needs, and I can't stress that enough. That's, you just gotta bite the bullet. You need to know what your gun is shooting, and there's a couple of reasons for that. You know, from the factory, it's gonna shoot great with the, the standard pellets, but you, you want that so that if maybe something happens, maybe you accidentally bump that, you can get back to your factory setting speed really easily. You can call a tech and say, hey, you need to shoot those 18 green 22 pellets at 940 feet per second. And this will let you know that you're getting in the sweet spot for accuracy. Um, obviously, if you're changing calibers, changing from slugs to pellets, this is an invaluable tool. And really, this is where you eke out the accuracy. The, the guns right away are completely extremely accurate, but this is how you can really tighten in those groups and, and who isn't gonna chase that kind of accuracy. And it's such a low price point, you throw this in your case or literally in your pocket, much easier now, right? And the pocket chronograph V2, but I thought I'd bring in an expert. I'm gonna bring in Mr. Hein Froman to explain how he uses the new V2 pocket chronograph. So with me, Mr. Hein Froman, Airgun guru, master, you make everything better. And I, the reason I brought you in, because look, we're talking about the chronograph. We've, it, everybody at this point, if you're a serious air gunner, you know about a chronograph, but I was interested on how you use the chronograph in your process, because I know you're doing a lot of testing tuning. And tell me your thoughts on the new V2, because you spent it about the last month with it, right? Yeah, so I really like it. Um, being that it's very compact and small, uh, the configuration I have is on the side mm -hmm. where I can see the display from my, my oh, not right shooting side. Yeah, yeah on my right hand side, so it's much easier for me to to view it that way. Um, and and it's pretty simple, straightforward. It works indoors. I've used it on less than three meters with my stop box. I've, I've used it the R and D section for Hein. I see a lot, a lot of times you shooting into box from yeah, like three feet away. Yeah, no problems picking it up. No problem. Wow, yeah. that is great. Yeah, yeah that's, so that's very important for me because that then you you only need one chronograph. You need one chronograph for whatever you want to do out in the field, and you can leave it attached if you want to. That's awesome. So, so you're putting it on the left. I, I know. I mean, compared to th this was great. Yeah. But what do you see the advantages? I mean, outside the rechargeable battery, which is a big one. Um, any difference on how it works as far as picking things up? No, I've, I've really, I've, it, it's the same. Okay. I, I haven't seen it. So it's capturing yeah. everything. Yeah. Um, as far as mounting, I think it just gives that, what I like is I've seen a lot of creativity already where people yeah. are putting it. I think it was uh, Matthias over at Airbox has already printed a Arca rail yeah. for his Pantera, right? Where you yeah. can just let, that's great. I just, yeah. I think it's much, this is much easier. Where did, did I remember seeing right? Did you used to put this oh, here? I put it on my scope, yeah. That was <laughs> the easiest because then the POI doesn't move, nothing moves, right. and the scope always stays the same. But now with this, because I know a lot of guys have a lot of Picatinny, what, what's the placement? Are we still, is it picking up back, forward, any, I, any it suggestions? It will always be the best position would be as close as much, as, as far forward as possible. Okay. Um, that would be the ideal position. Obviously the display, whichever is the, the most convenient for the shooter. I got you. So if I was somebody who just bought my first impact that wasn't decked out like this, basically what your suggestion, maybe I put on this yeah. and do scope or yeah. maybe a bottle. Yes. Okay. So you're saying close to the muzzle. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. As, as close as possible. Preferably not on the muzzle itself. Right. But it can be done if you're not concerned about accuracy and you just want to get your velocity if you're getting your reading, set up right. and you want to get the gun set up correctly, then you can use, use it on the barrel itself. Other than that, if you want to permanently use it to do monitoring, then fit it on the side or on the scope or whichever is the most convenient. 
you know, there's not really much more to say about chronographs, but we have your impact here. Tell me a little bit about what you've done with this one, because I know that's what it, people are going to ask in the comments. So, yeah. what, what so, have we done? So this is my my bench um, setup. Okay. Um, I like to shoot off a a uh, rest, a seb rest. So I've got a three inch um, mounting straight on my bottle. Okay. And the reason being, it's the most stable point on the gun itself. I've also got a bag rider at the back, which is slightly different. It's 3D printed. I was going to say, you got some custom stuff going yeah, on Yeah, <laughs> and the barrel housing on this is a steel tube. It's just camouflaged a little bit black, but it's a steel tube instead of carbon. It's just a new idea I'm testing cool. and playing around with. And, and then, then you got, got the, uh, the TRS on. rail. Yeah, and then the, the... Really love the bubble level. Yeah, so that for me is very important. The weight is important because the gun is quite heavy. Um, and and the idea on that, even though you're on a bench, you can do a lot of weight just to keep it down yeah. so it's not jumping, So it's right? pretty stable. You pull the shot off, you can look through the scope, the gun hasn't moved. And then obviously, my muscle break that I like, this just puts a gun in the next level. Other things that you're also playing with. So maybe some yeah. future things. Yeah. Heinz always developing things. And yeah. uh, What do you think about the Theos, by the way? I love it. It's just next level. I was going to say, from a bench rest standpoint, you're really good. You, you yeah. got it. You don't miss the holes anymore. I know for me, the success I've had at bench rest is when I had a better scope where I could really see what's going on clearly, especially um, if it's super windy and you're down in the ciders and it yeah. starts turning into Swiss cheese, you can still yeah. pick it out and see what's happening. I, I like the 36 is perfect. The higher than that would be it's a little bit yeah. insane, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's awesome. Well, thank you, Hein. Like, like I said, I mean, it, it's a chronograph. It, it works. It's rechargeable yeah. now, smaller than ever. Awesome price point. I don't know why you would grab any other chronograph. So there you go. Well, thank you, Hein. We'll see you guys next week.